pretty sure I see smoke. I don't know why I would see smoke. Well, the plot thickens, y'all. No, that's not gonna work. That is, that's gonna work. Woohoo! I did it, y'all. Honestly thought I was gonna die. It's right pretty, isn't it, y'all? I mean, it is to me. Okay. Okay. That's good. She's loose. Right, spin it. Take it off? No, just spin it out so I'm all right. Then loosen that. Oh. Let me see. The, the wrist don't fit it, but it'll turn. All legumes need this. It's called inoculant. In inoculant. I know, inoculant. I know what it's called. Okay. Oh. And that right there is a hundred and ninety dollars, so don't turn mm -hmm. it over. So if it's an inoculant, it's also seed lubricant, it says. It'll help, help the little beans germinate and grow. <music> Gonna move on red. He's heading out. I'm gonna back this under there. He asked if I could do it without hitting anything. Surely I can. Woo! But it is like a hot box in here. I'm gonna tell you that. All right, let me put this down so I can concentrate and not hit anything. I will say though, I think it's really important that all humans be able to back with their mirrors. Even even when they're really, really dirty. <laughs> no problemo. Whoops, could have gone back another six feet. It's all good. It's all good. She's undercover, barely. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's the first time I've been so gross since last fall. And gross, I mean hot and sweaty, but I've obviously been gross with manure and mud and all the other stuff. So, whatever. All right. I think it's time to head to the house and see uh, what might there be for supper. I think it's going to be a hot dog because I forgot to take anything out of the freezer. Bonnie! Bonnie girl, Bonnie, Clara, where'd you go, Bonnie? Are you mad at me? Bonnie, Bonnie, there you are. Are you mad at me because I left you all day long? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What have you been doing? Sleeping, sleeping, hmm? I know that's the truth. Yep, that'll do, Peg. And I also had leftover sloppy joes. I added some, some more uh, chili powder. We're going to call it chili. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sometimes I amaze myself. I decided maybe it would be nice to take Lawrence a couple hot dogs. Even if they are <laughs> a piece of loaf bread with some sloppy joe chili and uh probably smushed by the time I get there but I know he's probably going to be working late and I figured maybe at this point something was better than nothing <laughs> and it's a beautiful evening and Bonnie said she wanted to go for a ride so I thought we 
Hotel. This is the field he's coming to when he finishes the one he's in. <laughs> but the one he's in is at the very end of this road and the very end of the field. I'm pretty sure I see smoke. I don't know why I would see smoke. I get the dummy award for the day. It's not smoke, it's dust. It's dust. So much dust. Oh. Gosh, and it's all the way down here at the end of the field where he's not. So. Wow. Still have a ways to go. <laughs> he's probably going to wonder why I'm coming down here. Well, the plot thickens, y'all. The plot always thickens around here. So, he just called me. He's not down here. He's back up there at that other field that I just videoed and I showed you. I didn't see him there. Did you see him? But that's why I see dust, because he just went up the road, evidently. And he needs me to bring him more seed, which means I gotta go back and get the red truck that has the seed on it. <laughs> All right, girl, let's go. Let's get back on the road, <laughs> or out of the barn. Uh, I forgot he said he had it in four, why does he have it in four wheel drive? I do not need this in four wheel drive. Uh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go out of four wheel drive. Yay, I'm just proud of myself for getting it out. I'm not always good at that. They look a little bit like Thunderheads. Huh. I don't know. And he's off again. hard to calibrate so he's gonna put it on the road and see how many beans are dropping out to try to get a better idea he planted the first big field bigger field too too much ran out of seed too fast last night so anywho everybody good morning funny funny okay Looks like it's wet, right? Thick enough. Thick enough.
We've got a, uh, had a pretty good dew this morning. None yesterday. Anyway, I'm assuming that will help with the dust as well. So, he should be able to knock the rest of this out really quick. And then he's going to go to haul and hay. I was going to help. Uh, but it looks like the rain maybe is not coming until later than we thought. If it comes at all. There's a tropical depression, but um, it looks like it might not really affect us. So, I have a million other things that need to be done at the house to catch up on. So we can have, like, clothes to wear that are clean. So, he said he would, he would just do it by himself. Anyway... It'll be an all-day deal, but at least we're getting stuff done. Getting stuff done. I think we'll head to the house. You want to go to the house? <laughs> I don't care. I just want to be wherever you are, Ma. Okie dokie. Okay, we're going to try lunch again together. He's up here unloading. We have sandwiches. We have fudge that one of my friends that I made online sent me in the mail. Thank you, Olay. It's my favorite. We have chips and he has tea. And we have Bonnie. Whew. So he's been working hard outside. I've been working hard inside today. To the tune of completely changing my girl's bedroom around because she's been begging. She's been wanting to take her bed down. She has an old antique bed and she doesn't like it. It's too high. So now she has a mattress on the floor. For now. I'm going to get her a day bed that's just smaller and doesn't take up so much room. Anyway, you know how one thing leads to another? So we did that. Now I'm looking at a mattress and frame on my porch that I need to get taken somewhere. Papa's basement, I reckon. And uh, and then it led to cleaning out, somehow cleaning out my bathroom closet. And I don't know. It's been several hours of stuff like that though. So I'm pretty excited to go eat a sandwich. I'm just talk, talking, talking a lot. I'm gonna be quiet. Clouds are starting to roll in from that front, I reckon. Clouds are fine. They're welcome now. It's fine. All the hay's up. But hopefully the rain will hold off for a little while. There he is. <laughs> this is going in the row. Just don't have enough barn. Don't have enough barn for all the hay. He's got two loads done. Takes an hour and a half for one load. Is that what you just said? Yeah. Yeah. And it looks like I'm gonna get to help a little bit. With my truck and a small trailer and two bells, three loads. It'll even it out where he doesn't have to make a road trip. A road trip. <laughs> Another trip. I'll even it out. So, this is what we'll do. I just ran to the grocery store and then I was going to go home and hook up to my little trailer. And I spy Lawrence. <laughs> That's good. That's good timing. By the time he gets that unloaded, hopefully I'll be unloaded, hooked up, and ready to head back with him. going slow the rest of the way but oh my gosh what a load what a load I got some good help back there my boys back there helping 
Yeah. Good job, buddy. You did all that for me. Mm. Doesn't hook up to my truck, so it's just gonna ride like that. Alrighty. Thank you, buddy. Okay, little amazing trailer. <laughs> See if we could all a couple bills a times three. Someone wanted to ride along, so I'm letting her. I'm gonna have the air on anyway. He had to come home and get some oil, so that was perfect timing. I'm gonna follow him out. Me and my little trailer. <laughs> oh. My little Radley trailer. Hmm. This might be interesting. <laughs> this almost went a little too far this is kind of trial and error for me how this thing works uh, yeah hmm all right we'll see I got help here okay so okay that's really not so hard <laughs> Brush this all for me. Couldn't see the middle board. And I almost went through that one. So that's not good. truck Bonnie we might be here a little while babe this barley hay is very similar to, to bean hay or no you know what it reminds me of it reminds me of oat hay which I guess makes sense it's kind of in the same family it's very dusty dry <laughs> I cannot see okay he's almost loaded I think he's got one more to get on there. So me and Bee Bonnie are Bee Boofing, Bee Boffing, Bee Boffing back to the truck. Oh my gosh, it feels, it's right here. It feels like I'm walking at the beach. And it's hot enough, it feels like beach weather. No ocean though. There is a river right there though. I just heard the boats going up and down. Look. See what I mean? Just a little sandy. Just a little. So here we go, y'all. 
I'm really glad I'm not hauling that much hay in a tractor. <laughs> it scares me just watching him do it and watching him go up and down this really steep hill really tears my nerves up. But he's good at it. He knows what he's doing. He's very confident. I need more confidence. I called out a full load. Yep. I'd say so. <laughs> this is one small hill. I'll show you the other hill in a little bit. I still feel like I need to keep a decent distance. I also need new windshield wipers because they're just really bad. Here's the hill. <laughs> it's going down it though. Woo! Woo! It'll slack up towards the top. About right here is where I thought I was gonna die one day. I'm pretty sure I've told that story, but I think it was a long time ago. So I was on the 4320 and I had my rake behind me yeah, that's what I had. And I was coming home. I was going home from raking. And I was going up the hill. And I don't I don't know why. I don't know exactly what happened. But it stalled on me. And I didn't know that with that tractor, if it stalls, and if you hit the brakes once and let up and then hit the brakes again, you lose your brakes. So that's what I did. And that's what happened. And I started rolling back down that hill, and I honestly thought I was going to die. I really did. I was very scared. Um, ended up jackknifing the rake, and uh, luckily it didn't hurt anything, and I just sat there, and I waited, and he came up behind me. He was behind me, and uh, I mean, he didn't see it happen. He was... He was several minutes later. Anyway, so it wasn't terribly long after that that I got my 4440. And he said it could not happen in that. And it would be much easier to shift down a gear if I had to. I could just pull it down to seven or six, which I've never had to with that one. It doesn't have any trouble pulling it up the hill. <sighs> anyway, that was a scary day. I'm glad I didn't die. <laughs> I'm just glad I did it like jack knife and roll over whatever could have happened. But I reckon if you farm long enough, things things happen or scares happen and just is a good reminder to you that things can happen and why it's so important to know and understand the equipment you're using and how it works. <laughs> yeah, that's important. Um, so anyway there you go two minutes ten seconds I'm just, I'm just talking a whole lot too much but I did want to share that I just had my son come up and meet me and bring me my computer so I could work on some stuff well some video editing while I have to wait for him to unload and uh, I sent Bonnie home with him because I had to turn the truck off and she had to get out and it was hot so I she needed to go home and it was like sending a toddler away that didn't want to go. She, she didn't want to get out of the truck. And then she's watching me. I know in the mule looking at me like, where are you going, mommy? <laughs> okay, little buddies. Let's get you unbuckled. <laughs> if I remember how to do that. What is that? What is it with that? Some way to release it. Gosh, I have the hardest times with these things. Uh, something to do with this. Nope. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I got it, y'all. I knew it was something. Well, maybe. There's some other something about it, though. Got it, y'all. Took it took my took my brain a second to figure it out, but I got it. 
And while he does that, I'll do this. So much footage, so much. I'm getting unloaded. We'll be heading back soon. And down and up we go again. We're gonna put it in four wheel drive going up this time. She slipped a little bit last time. She won't slip now. Load two for me, load one, two, three, four, four for him, I think. Let's see if I can figure this out any easier this time. I think I'm gonna Google how to release a ratchet strap. No, I know how to release it now. No, hey Gus, where'd you come from? What are you doing up here? I know you do that. I just can't figure out the how you get it to unravel. That's why I can't figure out. Woohoo! I did it, y'all. I just had to push really hard. All right, she's learning. I guess I'll let you sit in here where it's cool. Huh? Did you escape the house and come to the barn looking for daddy? <laughs> Some baby tobacco plants in the ground. <laughs> He's got one more bell to get out in the big field. We're moving to the last field. Yay. <laughs> My loud little trailer. right pretty isn't it y'all I mean it is to me <laughs> a lot of work right there rolled up into some bales happy to have them that's for sure okay this is the fun part he slows down to a crawl <laughs> when he's starting down the hill those bells are scaring me too they're a little lopsided anywho he does this and then he hightails it down <laughs> so he can hightail it up. Hightail it. Hightail. Does everybody say that? I mean, I've always said that. It just dawned on me that maybe somebody doesn't use that term. Okay, here we go. Picking up. Okay. Well, he's gonna prove me wrong this time. Now, now. There he goes. <laughs> Get it. Get it, LB. Whoop, whoop. Barley's flying. Oh, gosh, he scared me. Feels like it's gonna roll over. And now we go slow again. <laughs> and that's more entertaining than NASCAR, right? Yeah. Okay, y'all. Well, I'm officially unloaded. And I'm officially done. He's going to be able to get the rest by himself. So I'm heading to the house. See about supper. Although what I was going to cook... Although what I was going to cook for supper... Uh, is a roast that's marinating. I was going to show that on my other channel. Uh... But at this point, it's 7-Eleven. I'm not doing that now. It's gonna get to marinate another 20 some hours. <laughs> Hopefully that's okay. Uh, I think tonight's gonna be fried bologna and cheese sandwich. Yeah. We've eaten really good this weekend. Hot dogs, bologna. It's just the way it goes sometimes when you're in the thick of it. All right. Catch you later. Got you, buddy. You gotta go with me. Gotta go with me, okay? Wanna go home? No, I wanna stay with my daddy. Sorry. You need to go with me. Kind eyes. He has the kindest eyes. We love you, Gustafur. Yes, we do. <laughs>